In this part of the course, you'll get some more practice coding in Swift by adding the rest of the core gameplay features of Bullseye. This part of the course has a ton of challenges, and this is on purpose. We want to give you plenty of time to practice everything you've learned so far in the course and let it all sink in. After all, being able to follow the steps is one thing, but being able to do it on your own is another. In fact, you'll start right off with a challenge. You'll see if you can take everything you learned so far to modify Bullseye to show the user their current score. One of the biggest pitfalls when you're first learning iOS development is not understanding what to do when you have a bug in your app. We all have them, even the most experienced programmers. So next, together we'll diagnose and fix our first bug in the app. After that, we have several more challenges ready for you, including adding some code to track the current round, award the user with some bonus points, and start to implement the start over feature. By the time you're done this section, all of the features in Bullseye will be done except for making it look pretty. And most of all, thanks to all the practice you'll be getting, you'll feel a lot more comfortable with developing apps in Swift on your own. So let's lock in that Swift knowledge that you've learned and get practicing.